Imam Mahdi. I want to say a few points with regards to Imam Mahdi over here. Number one, who is Imam Mahdi and what is Mahdi? Is it a name or a title? How will he appear? Where will he appear? Few points. First of all, Mahdi is a title. It's not a name. The name of this person will be Muhammad. And his father's name will be Abdullah. Rasulullah sallallahu has said in the hadith which will follow, يُوَاطِعُ اسْمُهُ اسْمِي وَاسْمُ أَبِيهِ اسْمُ أَبِيهِ Which means his name will be same as mine and his father's name will be same as my father's. So, Mahdi is just a title. Mahdi means Hidayat Yafta, the rightly guided person. This person will be rightly guided by Allah. That's why he's given the, been given the title of Al-Mahdi, the rightly guided one. Name is Muhammad, father's name is Abdullah. Secondly, Imam Mahdi will be born before the day of Qiyamah. He will be born in Medina Munawwara. He will grow up in Medina Munawwara. He will study like we study over here. And he will know Quran. He will become Hafiz of Quran. He will be an Alim, a great scholar of his time. And when he reaches the age of 40, that's when he will emerge. Meaning, he will take uh, the leadership of the Muslim community of that time. So, there we have the farq and the difference between the Sunni Mahdi and the Shia Mahdi. The Shias believe that Imam Mahdi was born somewhere in the year of 200, 220, 30. And he was a small child and he ran away from home. And he went into a cave and he hid in there. And he's hiding in that cave. And he will appear from that cave uh, before the day of Qiyamah. So they say that he's in hiding and he will appear from there. We say no, he's not hiding. He will be born before the day of Qiyamah. These, this is the main fundamental difference. This is why the Shias, you know, they make dua. They call him Al-Qa'im. That the Qa'im is going to arrive and we are waiting for him. We are getting ready for him. And this is why when even they come for uh, Hajj or Umrah, that in Tawaf, while they are doing Tawaf, they scream with their duas and they make this dua that, Oh Allah, bring him out quickly. We are waiting for him. And, uh, you know, prepare the way for him and make the best of the creation ready to support him. And they have these conferences, it may be in Iran and other areas, and they invite people from throughout the world and they say that the Al-Qa'im, the Mahdi is about to appear, he's about to emerge, he's going to come out of the gray, for, come out of the cave and then he's going to do this and that, so we have to make way for him. So, first of all, Imam Mahdi uh, is not alive at this moment of time. He will be born when he will be born and he will uh, appear. He will be in Medina Munawwara. Prophet said this as in the Hadith comes. This is now moving on. Number three, Imam Mahdi will not make a claim to be Mahdi. He will never say, I am Mahdi, so follow me. In fact, he will try to run away from this leadership. He will be in Medina Munawwara. He will have reached the age of 40, which is the age of maturity. When the intellect and wisdom is at its peak and the strength of the man is also at its medium and high. And uh, uh, so he will have reached that age. The ruler of that time will die. And there will be a dispute with regards to the successor. There will be two parties. And the Muslim community in Medina Munawwara will approach Imam Mahdi. They will know him by name, by his attributes. They will know he is Sayyid. He is from the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa They will approach him and they will say, take our bayat and be our leader. He will decline. They will say, no, 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 it's not my job. Just let me do what I'm doing. So it, the time of Hajj will approach, so he will, he will travel to Makkah Mukarramah, meaning he will run away. He will not want to take the leadership. 
But while he is in Makkah Mukarrama, then one day he will be sitting between the area between Hajar Aswad, the black stone, and Maqam Ibrahim, the door of Kaaba. He will be sitting somewhere in between. And the Abdal of Sham, the Abdal, the Awliya of the high caliber, they will be there as well. And those Sulaha and Mashayikh will be inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will know that this person is Muhammad bin Abdullah and he is a Sayyid. And they will be told that go and give bayat to him. And in some riwayat, a voice from the unseen will call and say, that is Mahdi, go and give your bayat to him. So they will approach him and they will say, please take our bayat, be our leader and control the Muslim community. Now he will have no choice and he will accept their bayat and then he will take control of the reins of Khilafah. Number four, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has mentioned many signs with regards to Imam Mahdi. He has said, first of all, he will be from the Arabs and not from the non-Arabs. So, if a person claims to be Mahdi and he is from non-Arabs, then we can say, please sit down. <laughs> you know, on one of the channels, there was this person who comes on the microphone and he says, I have come to make an announcement that I am Imam Mahdi. So, the, uh, the, the host, he says that, okay, Imam Mahdi will be speaking in Arabic language. Do you speak Arabic language? He said, yes, I know Arabic. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki, He said, no, Surah Fatiha, everybody knows that everybody is Imam Mahdi. I'm talking about he will be an Arab. He will speak in Arabic language. You know Arabic language. He said, no, no, but still I'm Imam Mahdi. So, Bichara, he was a bit paranoid. He didn't know what he was saying. So, if a person gets up from non-Arabs and says, I'm Mahdi, he's wrong. Imam Mahdi will be from the Arabs. Moving on. He will not be from the and normal Arabs, he will be from Quraysh. Quraysh is the clan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa They had some special qualities with regards to leadership. Even in Jahiliya, the pre-Islamic era, the leaders in Makkah Mukarramah were chosen from Quraysh. So because of their ability to control the community, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that Aimma and leaders should be from Quraysh. And if you see Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, Muawiyah, and rest, Banu Mayya, Banu Abbas, they all came from the tribe of Quraysh. And then coming down from Quraysh, Rasulullah Rasool, said, he will be from Banu Hashim. And he said, he will be from my descendants. He will be from the children of Fatima. From the descendants of Hassan and Hussein. So first of all, his name should be Muhammad. Then his father's name should be Abdullah. And in some narrations, his mother's name will be Amina. And then he will be an Arab. He will be Sayyid. He will be from the descendants of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So Rasulullah has narrowed it down. So anybody gets up and claims it. First of all, the claimant is wrong because Imam Mahdi will never claim. He will be forced into accepting this post. So don't fall for such bogus people who claim to be Imam Mahdi, they are wrong, mistaken, something has happened to them, that's why they make such claims. So your mind should be clear with regards to the signs of Imam Mahdi. Hazrat Maulana Hussain Ahmad Madani Rahmatullahi once wrote this nice risala and he mentioned nearly 35 signs of Imam Mahdi. I have given a summary in these uh, things which I have mentioned. So this is Imam Mahdi. As I mentioned, he will appear at a time when there will be too much chaos, too much confusion. People won't know where to turn to. The leader will have died. There will be infighting, civil war. Nobody, you know, will be collected, collectively gathered upon one leader. So Imam Mahdi will be told to look after the Muslim community. He will do so. Now he will try to establish fairness, equality and justice. And he will establish it. From Makkah Mukarramah, he will move on to Medina Munawwara and towards the Arabian lands and he will move on to Baytul Maqdis. And he will conquer many areas. Constantinople, Qustuntiniya will be conquered as well during his time. And then when they will have camped at one place, the news will come that, you know, Dajjal has appeared. The first news will be false. And then the second news will come and that will be correct. And the Jal will have appeared. 
Imam Mahdi will have lived maybe for good five, six, seven years after his emergence and he would have established justice wherever he could. Now the Jal will come and he will appear from somewhere in Khurasan, Isfahan, somewhere. And uh, he will have a huge army and he will be causing, you know, uh, havoc and uh, wreaking havoc wherever he goes. And people will be confused, following him, believing in him as God. Imam Mahdi will say, oh Allah, we can't tackle the Jal anymore. You know, we've done whatever we could. But this huge army, we have no, uh, you know, uh, 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 we have no power against them. So please send Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam because they will also know about Isa alayhi salam. Like we know about these hadith. Imam Mahdi will all know. The Muslims of that time will also know about Imam Mahdi, uh, about Isa alayhi salam. Just as they knew about Imam Mahdi. So they will make dua and they will be at one place and Allah will send Isa alayhi salam.